Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is, you gonna fall, okay? And this goes along with this, um, it's a video that I saw, y'all, okay? But we're gonna get into that in a second. I'm explaining, I'm explaining, I'm explaining. Let's get the scripture first. The scripture comes from Jeremiah. This is 31 and 27. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will plant the kingdoms of Israel and Judah with the offspring of people and, anim of anim and of animals, just as I watched over them to uproot and tear down and to overthrow, destroy, and bring disaster. So I will watch over them to build and to plant, declares the Lord. In those days, people will no longer say, the parents have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. Instead, everyone will die for their own sin. Whoever eats sour grapes, their own teeth will be set on edge. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and with the people of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt because they broke my covenant, though I was a husband to them, declares the Lord. So here's the message, okay? Hold on. Uh, this is the covenant I will make with the people of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. So, um, in this video, I was watching about how um, in a certain area, I'm not sure where it is, after it rains, okay, and this is something that spiders just do naturally. After it rains um, or when it's raining, a spider will begin to make a little spider web to cover themselves from the rain so the rain won't bounce on them. And it's an area where the spiders, they all make their own webs. And then they go about and attach their web to the other spider's web. So it's kind of like a little sheet of silk. God said, God said he will be protecting his children. Like it, it, this is like this, the sheet protects the spiders from the rain. His children will be protected from the enemy. Um, trying to trample over them just like if you were to walk into that just like if you try to walk into a spider web baby you gonna have to deal with a spider if you try to walk through that sheet you gonna have to deal with all them spiders and uh god is saying this will be like an enemy coming after you so whoever you are god is saying that he will plant you in such a way with his children with his other children. You are his child and he intends to plant you among his other children. He intends to plant you around his other children in such a way that if somebody tries to mess with you, they will have to deal with the entire army. They're not going to just be dealing with you. Just like if you go in there, you try to mess with just one spider, you got to deal with all the spiders. Because who do you think you are to come and mess up all that hard work that they didn't put in? Okay, they just built their little perfect little silk sheet. And who are you and what are you doing? And God said that's the kind of, that that's, that's, that's what's going on. And um, your enemies may like to say that you will fall. They may like to say that you won't make it. They may like to say that it's not going to happen for you. They may like to tell themselves and dream, daydream, come up with these daydreams thinking that one day you're going to fall and you're going to fall hard. One day you're going to tumble and you're going to hit the flow. And one day this going to happen. And one day that going to happen. God say it's not going to come to pass because he has placed you in such a way around your brothers and sisters through Christ and that you will not be falling nowhere. You're not going nowhere. You're not that it's a dream, it's a hope, it's a wish. God said you're not going nowhere. Not only will they have your back, but you got they back. And God got all our backs. Okay, let's get let's be clear. God said everybody got everybody. God said He is putting His He's knitting His children together in this time. The enemy can think today, oh, we're going to do this. 
And, oh, we're going to do that. And that's going to happen. And that's going to happen. God says some try, somebody try to do you something, it'll be people coming out the woodworks. Somebody try to come after you, it'll be people coming from everywhere. But God said he is doing this because he wants his children. This is like, you know, like any parent that has a lot of children, they want their children to be very close to each other. Any parent that even if you just got two, you want your kids to know each other. You want them to be well acquainted with each other because they can. They're siblings. They should know each other. They should care for each other. They should have each other's back. And yeah, I know that it's some crazy siblings out here. And it's some siblings out here that deliberately, they compete with their brothers and their sisters. They deliberately try to tear their brothers and their sisters down. They deliberately do this, that, and the third. But we're going to lead them there. Let them carry on doing what they do. But God says, as far as you being one of his kids, being on his team, he ain't going to have none of that. He wants his kids to be for each other and to love each other and care for each other and have each other's back. And that's just what it is. God is saying no longer, no longer will people say the parents have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. He said, instead, everyone will die for their own sin. Whoever eats sour grapes, their own teeth will be set on edge. So God is saying he is not going, there's not going to be a situation where you are going to have to deal with any kind of um, heat because somebody else did something. It's not going to be just because that person was acting up or just because that person, they decided that they wanted to go and act a fool. They wanted to go haywire regardless of what they decided to do. Maybe they decided that they wanted to go um, out and party and do this, that, and the third. It's not going to reflect on you because you are your own person and they they own person. Just because they decided that they wanted to go out and... um buy buy things or do whatever like whatever it is like regardless to you know even with the sour grape they decided they wanted to go out and get drunk it's not gonna reflect on you because that's their business and you are yo you your person and they they person and you know just because they decided that they wanted to um go and fornicate it don't reflect on you because they gonna do what they gonna do and you gonna do what you gonna do and god is saying that you are a reflection of him you are a reflection of his family so you will be connected to those that are like you you are not going to have to worry or concern yourself with being connected to people that do things that you would not do that they, they concern themselves with things you would not concern yourself with just because such and such like to gossip a lot, that don't mean that you like to gossip a lot. It, it don't it don't matter. It don't matter what's going on. Just because such and such likes to do this, likes to carry on like that, and they like that, just because they do one thing does not mean you do the same thing as them. Even if it's a situation where you have blood kin that likes to carry on a certain kind of way, it don't mean that you the same way they are. You, you, it don't mean that. It don't mean God say it's a time where you are going to wear the badge of honor of being God fearing. You will wear the badge of honor of being a woman of God, of being a man of God, of being a child of God. You are a part of his gang. You are part of his clique. It, it don't matter what everybody else got going on. It don't matter if all the rest of your classmates, they like to act a fool. That's their business. It don't matter if everybody that, you know, you used to hang out with back when they doing this, that, and the third. You not doing that. And what they doing is not a reflection of you. You are a reflection of yourself. You are a reflection of God. You will do as God commands you to do. You're not worried about doing what they command you to do. You're not worried about doing what they're doing. You're not doing things just so you can fit in with everybody. You're not concerning yourself with trying to make yourself look this way, look that way, be this way, be that way. It don't matter. You will do as God commands you to. And that's that. 
That's that God says this is a time where, no, you are not going to fall just because somebody else is doing some, you know, they, they acting a fool and they decided they wanted to go this way. They decided they wanted to go. It don't matter. They can sit around and they can gossip about you and lie on you all they want to. You are not going to fall because your fruits will show. Your fruits are obvious. It's obvious what kind of person you are. It's obvious what kind of things you went to. It's obvious what you like to do. It's obvious who you are becoming. It's obvious who you are meant to be. And you are not to meant to be whoever this person is trying to picture you in their minds, uh, who they trying to fabricate you to become or what they desire. They can desire whatever they want to. They can daydream all they want to. That's their business. That's their business. Just because somebody looks similar to you and they act a certain way does not mean that all of a sudden you have to act the same way that they are or that you are the same way that they are. And that's regardless if it's somebody that's kin to you or if it's somebody that's not even related to you, but y'all just look similar. It is what it is, okay? It's okay. Everything's fine, okay? Technically, due to the fact that we came from the same woman and man, it... it you're going to find some people that's going to look a little similar. And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And, and this happened to be like, I, I'll be like looking like, dang, they saw, they show look just like such and such. But I know good and well that's not such and such because such and such still act a fool. Okay? <laughs> to be real. I know it's not. I know it's not. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. And if it is, glory to God. Okay? But I, here's the... Anywho, it will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors when I took them by hand to lead them out of Egypt because they broke my covenant, though I was a husband of, to them, declares the Lord. So God is saying that this will not be like the time when um, God punished you and then he made a new covenant with you. This is not for someone you are under scrutiny. You're not under scrutiny. Your wrath, there's no wrath up on you. God is not punishing you, okay? Even if it's a situation like, I just feel like even if you were living a way that God was not approving of, this is the thing. This is not for somebody that was deliberately being sinful, deliberately, deliberately doing wrong in God's eyes. You did not understand to the extent that God understood. And God gradually brought you into understanding what he understood. And, you know, you may still not know everything that God understands, but that's okay. But here's what God is saying. You are not under punishment. And you are not under punishment because you did not understand what you were doing. You did not understand what was going on. You did not clearly understand. And now that you are in a place where you clearly understand, God is saying, okay, now, don't do the things that you used to do because then you will have to uh you will have to deal with his wrath for your sin. However, at a place where now you are at understanding, now you are in a place where you you see what God sees and you know what God was trying to get you to it clicks. Okay? God is saying you are not under wrath. You are not under scrutiny. You are not under judgment. You are not under punishment. God looked into your heart and he saw where you were coming from. And you are not coming from a sinful place. You are not coming from a place where you were deliberately trying to do evil. You are not coming from a place where you were trying to cause any kind of harm to anybody. You are not coming from a place where you wanted to cause malice or you your intentions were bad or your intentions were impure. God says he sees where your heart is and he sees how you are striving to do better. And he sees how you are striving to the, do the best that you can. And he sees everything. He sees the potential in you. And it's not like the last video where somebody had potential and they wasn't putting forth. No. This is somebody you strive to be at your best potential. God said he sees that you are putting forth effort. You are making progress. And for that reason, God is blessing you. God says he is making a new covenant with you. 
Okay, this is a covenant I will make with the people of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. God says that you are his. Okay, and he is yours. And that's all that it is. God said he loves you. He cherishes you. He cares about you. And he is so happy that you'll see the light. Regardless if you're coming out of a counterfeit relationship and you finally see the light. Or if you are coming out of um, sinful ways and you see the light. Or whatever it is that you're coming out of. And, uh, you know, it could simply be a relationship because just like the message is, you will fall. This is somebody that is thinking that without them, you're going to fall. If you don't have them around, you're going to fall over. Or everything is going to come tumbling down. Everything is going to be a disaster. Everything is going to fall out of place. God says without them around, everything is going to go up. Because they were causing so much tur turbulence for you. They were causing so many problems for you. And for some of you, you couldn't even see it. You couldn't see it. You couldn't, you did not realize that this person was the problem. They acting like they the answer, but they the problem, they the problem, they the problem. God said, uh-uh. He is making a new covenant with you. Don't go back there no more. Let them go. 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 You're not falling. You are not falling. You being with them, then you will fall. Because that's what they want for you. That's their intentions. Their entire intentions is so that you would fall. Just listening, you know, to them talk about their exes, you'll probably hear how the ex had this going on, they had that going on, they was boss this, boss that, and then now you look at the ex, and the ex look like they going through it every day, all day. Why? Because where's the common denominator? The common denominator, the denominator is this person, okay? They try to act like they don't understand this. They don't. They have been deliberately tearing people down. For years. That, that's their business. That's their job. That's what they do for a living. God said leave them there. Okay. God said he himself is making a covenant with you. If this is for someone you are coming out of a marriage. God says the covenant of that marriage is over. You are making a new covenant with God. You are, you know, you have denounced it. You have turned away from it. It was no good. It was not of God. And you have turned away from it. And you are now taking up a covenant with Christ. You are taking up a covenant with God. God says this is a new, this is all new. That past is done. What was there is over. And understand that God has new expectations of you. But also understand, I have to say this, I have to make this very clear to some, you are not under the wrath of God. You are not under punishment. God is not punishing you. You are not in trouble. You are not under judgment. God is not angry with you. You are not being um, punished for anything. And there may be things that will happen that will cause you to think this. And that may be why, or maybe things have happened that have caused you to think this. However, some of those things that have happened, while you may think to yourself that you were being punished, you think to yourself that you were under judgment, you think to yourself you were under the wrath of God. God said he was not punishing you. He was saving you. He was rescuing you. Some of these things that you wanted to come to pass, maybe some things you wanted it to happen, but it would not have been for your benefit. It would not have been for your good. God is saying some things had to happen. It's okay if you had to lose a few things. The stores are still open. It's okay if you lost out on some relationships and some friendships. It's okay. Other people will come. God said you are now in a close-knit relationship, not only with our Heavenly Father, with Christ Jesus and the Holy Spirit, but you have so many brothers and sisters in Christ that are connected to you. You no longer are going to reflect off of whoever this person is that you are no longer in a relationship with anymore. And baby, you will find that it was a bad look. It was not a good look. It was not a good look. It was not a good look. And you know, just like in the last message, you will find, start to realize that you don't even want to be with them. 
you 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 start to see who they are versus who you thought they were. They are who they are. They are not who you thought they were. They don't want to change and they refuse to change. But God says you, he sees in your heart. He sees your desire for better. He sees your desire to do better, your, your will. And because of this, God is lifting you up. He's pulling you out of that. He is making a new covenant with you and you will be his. He says that you belong to him and he belongs to you. And that's the message, y'all, you know, and that's the message. God says you will not, you are no longer connected to this person. Um, I'm going back to where it says, instead, everyone will die for their own sin. Whoever eats sour grapes, their own teeth will be set on edge. Some of you were connected to people and because you were connected to them, whatever sin they were partake in was bouncing off on you. Whatever bad they were doing, it will bounce off on you. You know, when you are connected to somebody, when you married to somebody, um, you, you, we already know that that's a covenant that you make with that person and God. And God has said that covenant is over. He is creating a new covenant with you. You are no longer connected to this person. You are no longer going to be receiving any kind of wrath, any kind of um, turbulence or anything because of what this person got going on. You not, it don't have nothing to do with you. Whatever they got going on, and in reality, that's what it is. God sees that. God sees you don't even know half the things this person, if anything, that this person is doing that God knows. And you don't deserve to be receiving wrath because of what this person got going on. So God said he's cutting you off from that. No more of that. That's the end. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody that has donated. If you haven't donated yet, you can do so by using my website, starscartel.com, or by using my cash up, dollar sign, Stars Cartel. If you are someone and you don't believe that you will be able to get yourself a Christmas gift, you would like to receive a Christmas gift from my store, hit me up at my email. It is in the description box, and I will ship something out to you by the end of the month okay i'll be shipping things out at the end of the month all right and that's the message y'all and i'm only like I, I i said 20 people now i i can't stunt you know your girl got a big heart so i can't even just say what i'm but i i, I i'm more so thinking about you know first of all it's free so you know this is gonna be a loss for me but you know it's not really a loss because i do have the heart to do it you know what i'm saying something i want to do and um i'm also gonna have to pay for shipping so i i have to take i have to take that into account while i'm doing this you know what i'm saying but yeah just email me and um Email me your name and your address, and I will try to ship things out to as many people as I can. But I have already get, given myself 20 people, okay? And that's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.